Hey guys, and welcome back to Vlogs and Frogs. Today I'm going to give you another break from seeing my beautiful face while we talk about another little cutie. This is the best beetle. They are adorable, and I don't want to distract you from this cutie with my cute face. So, without further ado, let's learn. They are marvelous little beetles that grow to be about one to one and a half inches in length. Adult best beetles have rounded bodies and a very shiny black exoskeleton. This smooth exoskeleton allows these fellas to move freely through the tunnels they build using their mandibles or their mouth parts to tear through their way and then ooh, wiggle their way through, sliding through like a piece of butter. They do have wings hardened on their backsides, although adults very, very rarely use their wings. They have specialized antennae with comb-like features on the ends that help with sensing their environment, especially closely. While the adults are thick and black, right after pupation, they are more bright reddish brown for a couple weeks until their exoskeleton fully hardens. Pupation is when they go from their little worm self, and then they tighten up and they build a cocoon-like thing, and then they pupate into a beautiful beetle. Then the exoskeleton will harden and become black. Males and females of the common Kentucky best beetle are virtually identical, so no sexual dimorphism there. Larvae are similar to other common beetle larvae in that they are large white grubs. You can often find them right up under the logs in the mud. They are very easily identified by their missing hind legs. Like all insects, best beetles have six legs. However, during their larval stage, the last pair of legs are modified into a scraper that rubs a rigid file on their middle pair of legs resulting in a squeaking sound similar to but quieter than that of the, the sound the adults make. The larvae will use the sound to get food from their parents saying I'm hungry I'm hungry. Now when they're adults they can produce 14 different calls. That's more than any other insect. Boom! That best beetle holds that title. Adults do provide parental care for their larvae, so both age groups can be found in the same rotten wood habitat simultaneously, living as a happy family. Best beetles spend majority of their lives inhabiting rotten logs. Many studies have shown that they appear to favor eating logs that are approximately about two years old, until all the cambium layer, that's the space between the bark and the actual trunk of the tree, has been ingested. Best beetles provide an immensely beneficial forest service. They recycle the dead wood material, process it, and pass it on as new chance. These beetles are car very common in hardwood forests and prefer tree species like oak, hickory, and maple. Although they can be found in just about any hardwood log that's at the proper stage of decay that they like, the eastern U.S. best beetles also live in social groups consisting of an adult pair, the parents, and their many offspring that they create over time. Biparental care is unusual in insects, yet best beetles' parents appear to participate in care of the young even after their offspring have emerged as adults. That means even when they get old, they still get taken care of and they still act like a happy family. Isn't that so cute? Like all beetles, best beetles have what's called complete metamorphosis with an egg, larval, pupil, and adult stages. Males and females form pairs in unoccupied logs early in the spring and they immediately begin their massive tunnel construction. The female will then lay somewhere between 20 and 60 eggs in those tunnels and they'll hatch within a few weeks. Once hatched, the larvae will grow through three instars, so basically through three different molts. They prepare to pupate in early fall and construct their pupil cases or their cocoons basically within their tunnels with some help from the adults in the colony. They make it work. Adults pile frass and wood pulp on the larvae while the larvae roll around in the frass and the larvae will roll around to form a hollow center in which to pupate. The beetles will emerge as adults about two or three weeks after entering their pupil case. The exoskeletons of these young adults are not completely hardened, and therefore, because they're bright red, means they're extra vulnerable. So, they'll remain in those logs for several months while the parents still help take care of them, and then they'll leave, and they'll go start their own colony the next spring. And then, those adult beetles will live for several years. Isn't that awesome? And that's the beauty of these beetles. They're magical. I absolutely love these beetles. They're so freaking cool. I mean, mind blown. I hope you guys enjoyed because I had a great time. These things are awesome. Go find them yourself and go give them some hugs and kisses. They're awesome. So are you guys. I'll see you later.